Back in the day, China had the Great Wall, right? We've heard about the Great Wall of China. And uh, here we're looking at a few images in Google of the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China, and look at how the massive this wall is, how far it just goes and goes and goes and goes. Like, truly massive. And uh, this wall was erected to keep out invaders the Great Wall of China. And I'm showing this to you because back in the day, this was how they kept the people in their country inside and kept people outside their country outside. They had the Great Wall of China. Well, today they have the Great Firewall of China, the Great Firewall of China. And uh, the Great Firewall of China keeps the information inside China, inside China, and information outside China, and it prevents it from coming into China. And you can read about this on Wikipedia. It's called the Golden Shield Project. That's what they call it in China. That's the euphemism, the Golden Shield. And it's funny how governments always come up with these euphemisms to sell things and make them more palatable, right? Like we, we didn't go to war. It's Project Desert Shield or whatever, you know, Desert Storm. Or it's not like, you know, we are entering a new age of limited rights in America. It's the Patriot Act, because if you don't agree with it, it's the Patriot Act. How can you not agree with the Patriot Act? Are you not a patriot? All right, so it's interesting what names uh, governments, organizations give things. In China, they call the Great Firewall of China, the Golden Shield Project, colloquially, however you say that, is referred to as the Great Firewall of China. And there's this uh, website called greatfirewallofchina.org where you can test your site. So if I test, like, you know, my mom's website, but um. It's thinking uh, yeah, that's accessible. Uh, you could reach that in China. But if I check Google.com, no, no, not you can't get Google in China. Can you get Facebook in China? No, no, you can't get Facebook in China because <laughs> they have their own version of a search engine. They have their own version of social networking. And uh, they want to be able to control it so they can monitor what all of the citizens are doing. So what is the difference between a firewall and an antivirus software? Because when I was younger, I used to be like, I don't know what the difference between firewall and antivirus software is. A firewall really sort of restricts access, right? Like the term firewall comes from when they built buildings or when they do build buildings. And uh, they put in walls that are firewalls to prevent fire, if the building catches on fire, to prevent the fire from moving so quickly through the building. So this is a wall that is built to withstand fire. That's what's called a firewall. And it's gonna take the fire a longer time to get through that wall, to burn through that wall. And so same thing digitally, a firewall is uh, either software or hardware that will restrict things from going through it. And so it restricts access. So it could say, you know, like the firewall around China means that if you're in China, you can't get to Google, you can't get to Facebook. That information is just not entering China. And that's kind of what's going on with this image right here, right? So we have the firewall. And again, this is software. It's not a literal wall. This is software, hardware. And where the internet connections come into the country, right? They have this software, they have this hardware in place. And uh, it just says, this is from Google. Sorry, we're not going to let that in. Right, And so it's just like a, a wall with a gate and a door, and it determines what gets in and what goes out, and uh, really regulates what comes in and what comes out. That's what a firewall does. It regulates what comes in and what goes out. Here's a little image of it. Computer A and B do not have permission to reach your computer, so they hit the firewall and stop. But uh, computer C, you've explicitly stated that computer C is allowed to pass your file. Computer C that can, can then connect to your computer. So if this was China, Google, uh, Facebook, sorry, you don't get to come in, but mcclouds.com, okay, <laughs> for whatever reason. All right, so probably because there's nothing on there that's ever popped up on their radars being alarming, we need to block it. Yeah, so that's, a, that's what a firewall is. Antivirus software, on the other hand, is just watching a computer to see if certain pieces of software acting in certain way Little bits of code have gotten on the computer. Little viruses have gotten on the computer. So antivirus software watches for those viruses. And that's the difference between firewall and antivirus software. If you're running Windows, you could go to start and you could go to firewall. 
and see what comes up. Windows firewall with advanced security. And, uh, you know, you could play with the settings for a uh, Windows firewall and check the status of the firewall and everything like that. Just kind of interesting to check out. That's what a firewall is. <laughs>